It's after midday at the Gashora Transit Center where we find the refugees and asylum seekers from Libya going about their businesses while others took time to play. However, the mention of their past brings tears to their eyes. <laughs> They simply want to put their past where it belongs, behind them. I will never forget what happened in Libya. They would beat me up every day. I will also not forget the names they called us, including us being slaves. We lived a very miserable life in Libya. My brother was killed before my own eyes. There is a lot. I cannot just say it to the media. We tortured and we, we have refused it. They killed us like dogs. They beat us up. We still have scars everywhere, including in our own hearts. When I talk of what happened to me, tears roll down my cheeks. I cannot say everything. I never thought anyone could undergo such a life. But it did happen to us in Libya. But I see in Libya. Many of them saying that knowing that they would be transferred to Rwanda brought a glimmer of hope in them, knowing that they are privileged. We are happy in Rwanda. We have all the basic needs. We are thankful to God for doing this for us. We are alive. We are living a good life. We are at peace now and this place is very secure. I can say we are very good and okay, at least by 100%. The Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Emergency Management, Olivier Kayumba, say they have all received what they have been given and a place to settle and all the basic essentials. The Ministry of Emergency Management says evacuation of the asylum seekers to Rwanda is under the framework of the emergency transit mechanism established through the Memorandum of Understanding that was signed on the 10th of September 2019 in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, between the government of Rwanda, the UN Refugee Agency and the African Union. To date, 189 of them have been received in two quarters. The first lot was 66, while the second consisted of 123 people. It is expected that in November, 120 more people will come and 191 more will be expected then after. Officials from the UNHCR toured the transit center in Gashora this Wednesday to see for themselves where these migrants live and applauded the efforts made to make them feel comfortable.